very, very peculiar platypus by Wade Hudson. In the late 1700s, British scientists got their first glimpse of a platypus, or rather they received a platypus specimen that someone had sent from Australia. At first they thought it was a joke. It looked as if someone had stitched a duck's bill and webbed feet to the skin of an otter or beaver. The platypus does look as though it were put together by a mad scientist. However, its seemingly strange collection of features and adaptations helps the platypus to survive in its Australian home. A most unlikely mammal. The platypus is a mammal, just like a mouse or a dog. It is warm. It is a warm-blooded animal with a backbone, and it is covered with fur. The average platypus is about 18 inches long from nose to tail. It weighs anywhere from 1.5 to around 5 pounds. Males are generally larger than females. A platypus may live 13 or more years in the wild, and 20 or more in captivity. A platypus spends as much as 10 hours a day in the water. Therefore, lakes, rivers, and streams are always part of a platypus's habitat. A platypus usually forages or hunts for food at night. It swims underwater in search of insects, shellfish, and worms. A single dive usually lasts for a minute or two. While underwater, the platypus collects food from the river bottom and stores it in its cheek pouches. When not looking for food, the platypus shelters in its burrow. The platypus burrow is usually built in the bank of a river or stream. Sometimes a platypus uses rocky spots along the edge of the water as shelter. At times, it may make its burrow under logs or among the roots of a tree for protection. In terms of size, traits, and behavior, the platypus is much like other mammals, but this is where the similarities end. The platypus is a special kind of mammal called a monotreme. The only other monotreme is the echidna, also known as a spiny anteater. Like the platypus, the echidna is found in Australia, though echidnas also live in New Guinea. All other mammals give birth to live young. However, monotremes lay eggs. This is just one of the many characteristics that make the platypus unusual. Duck-like features. The platypus's duck-like bill is its, is its most notable feature, and its web feet are just as striking. Its bill and feet make it look more like a strange bird than a mammal. However, these features play important roles in survival. Because a platypus hunts for food underwater, swimming skills are vital to survival. A platypus's webbed feet make it an excellent swimmer. Using a rowing motion, first one front foot, then the other, the animal moves easily through the water. It can also hover in one spot, even against the current, while it searches for something to eat. Underwater, a platypus closes its eyes, ears, and nostrils. But how can the animal find food? Here is where the platypus's extraordinary bill comes into play. Unlike a duck's hard bill, a platypus's bill is rubbery. It serves as the platypus's sense organ when under the water. The bill has sensors that pick up electrical signals from prey. Eggs like a reptile. Platypus eggs aren't like the hard oval eggs that most birds lay. Instead, platypus eggs are similar to the round, leathery eggs that reptiles such as lizards and turtles lay. The leathery shells are flexible. They are less likely to break during incubation than a hard-shelled egg would be. The female platypus lays one to three eggs. She lays the eggs in a deep burrow and incubate, incubates them for about 10 days. When the baby platypuses hatch, they are naked and blind. Only the female platypus cares for the young. Like other mammals, the female platypus feeds milk to her young. When the platypuses are three to four months old, they leave the burrow. At that point, they have a full coat of fur. They have to learn how to swim and find food for themselves. Platypus poison. The male platypus has a particular feature that the female does not share. Like some species of insects, spiders, and snakes, the male platypus has venom. Sharp spurs on the heels of its hind feet deliver the venom, which is produced by a special gland in the male's thigh. Given a choice, a platypus dives underwater to escape a predator, or it dashes down a burrow. But if there is no choice, a male platypus uses its spurs to protect itself.
a well-adapted oddity. The platypus might be the oddest looking creature on earth. It seems to be part duck, otter, and beaver, and part snake and spider too. It's a hodgepodge of strange features that don't seem to belong together. It shares the same basic features of all mammals, but unlike other mammals, the platypus does not give birth to live young. It lays leathery eggs instead. The duckbill and webbed feet make it well suited for its habitat. And, similar to a spider or snake, a platypus can defend itself with venom. The platypus looks like an animal made up of spare parts, but these seemingly unlikely adaptations allow the platypus to find food, protect itself, and reproduce successfully. This ensures the survival of these fascinating creatures.